So, coach, we're uh, seven games into the season. We have uh, Ryan Thompson, who's averaging around about two and a half saves per game. So he's not being worked too too much. But uh, that said, we're one goal off having the worst defensive record in the league. So how do you square those two things? We can't uh, keep making uh, dummy mistakes out of the back. I said uh, the only goal that we gave up and, you know, the actually the team played us on, on that goal was against Harrisburg City Highlanders, the, sec the first goal they scored. Even that was a mistake by our left back because we kept them on. But I think most of the goals that we gave up is just stupid mistakes that we made out of the back. We actually get them. You know, we gave other teams 12 goals so far. That's how I believe. Three goals against Charleston. I thought we all we get them all three goals. You know, yeah, we got hurt and Fujiro didn't stay on the field and you know, but we didn't manage. We didn't manage that very well when we went man down and we didn't put a guy in the back and we have to sort those things out quicker and as a coaching staff we have to sort it out quicker as well, not just on a, on a player side. Uh, listen, I, I give credit to Charleston, they're a good team, but I thought, you know, we get them at least two goals out of three goals they scored. So, so we're a quarter, quarter of the way through the season, we're 2-3-2. Two, two. Um, what's the coaching staff's assessment of, you know, how the roster is looking and where we're possibly looking at strength and to get back into that playoff zone? Uh, obviously, defensively, we've got to strengthen up by defending uh, as a unit, defending all together as 11. Uh, the guys that, you know, come in and uh, from a bench, you have to take that opportunity as, as, as your last opportunity in your life sometimes because you never know when you're going to play your last game. You know, you never know when you're going to break your leg. It might happen. It might happen today. It might happen tomorrow. So anytime you get a chance to step on the field and prove coaches that you deserve to be on the field, you do that. But you do that by working very, very hard for your team. And, you know, good things happen to hardworking people and hardworking players. And, you know, you, you can close the game down. You can be a hero. I and mean, just all we ask for the players that when they come on is work tirelessly, work defensively. Defensively, yeah, it, it's, it's going to take some time to to get you going and stuff like that, but at least you can do is work hard. And if our players that come off the bench do that, it will be a very successful team. And so Richmond, who are again off to a strong start, 4-1-3 uh, and three they are. And we play them back to back here Saturday and then go there. Uh, what, what can the fans expect to see from this game on Saturday night? Looking forward to the game, to see how our players will react after the Charleston game, uh, after this whole week of training. It will be a great week of training, hard but good. Uh, Richmond is always good. They have a good group of guys, good group of guys that have been there for a long, long time and they know how to play and they're very smart players. Uh, coach, coach Lee is a, is a great coach. He doesn't lose a lot of games and, you know, he knows where his bread and butter is, you know, defensively. And uh, so they're going to be very organized. Uh, it's going to be hard to beat them. Uh, Delhi scores goals all the time and he's one of those guys that, you know, he needs one second to score the goal. He's nowhere to be found. And then one second, they cross it in the box. He's right there. He puts it on. And, you know, they win the goal. Game 1-0, 2-0, something like that. So, uh, we have to be on the top of our game against Richmond Kickers to, 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 to have a good result against them. But it's going to be a very tough game. And uh, we hope uh, our fans can come to the game and pack the stadium and help us out against Richmond Kickers. It will be a great game. Uh, Hopefully we will battle for it, you know, and we'll work hard to to, uh, to bring the joy to our fans, which they deserve fully. So. Thank you. Thank you, guys.